Hello, welcome to Chan Design Pumpkin Carving Edition. So when I carve my pumpkins, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I draw the design onto the pumpkin itself. Because some people can start just carving on a fresh pumpkin without anything on it, but I can't do that. I want to make sure that my design fits on it and doesn't look out of place. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take a marker and I'll draw it out. And then if I need to erase, I'll erase it and I'll start over until I get the shape that I want in the place that I want. And once that is done, I'm going to take my chisel set. I'm going to start outlining it with a V-shaped gouge. Um, outlining it uh, means that when I light it up, I can actually see the outline of the shape, and then I can do the shading with that done. This is actually uh, not a very time-consuming process because I'm mostly going over the lines that I've already created in my marker to try and get the basic outline of it. It's kind of like, you know, when you learn how to draw at first, you start with the outline shape, and then you go forward from there. Once I have enough of the shape outlined, then I can get to actually emptying out the contents of the pumpkin. So I cut the top off so I have access to the inside. And once I have that, I'm going to use my scooper slash scraper to clear up as much of the inside as I can. The thinner you make the wall, the easier it is for the light to shine through. So as you can see when I put the light in and turn off the, the room light, you can see the light shining through and the outline is pretty clear. So now I can actually start doing the shading part per se, where I take my flat chisel and I start removing the skin of the pumpkin. Once you remove the skin of the pumpkin, you get the design that comes out. Uh, normally I like to work in the dark, but I was starting to cut myself with the chisel, so I turned the light back on and try to finish it as much, as much of shading as I could without the flashlight inside. The intention here is to make the face a little bit lighter than the, the shirt and his hat. So I'm trying to go a little bit deeper in the, in the carving of the face part so that hopefully when I put the flashlight back in, it'll show up as a brighter or lighter section than the hat. This is how you get sort of three or four different shades when you're just trying to carve a pumpkin and all you use is light the background. Now that all the shading looks right, I can start using my drill to create pilot holes so that when I do all my cutout sections, I'm not forcing the blade through the pumpkin, which might, you know, crack some of the, or push some of the, uh, not as thick sections through. So I drill pilot holes in everywhere that I'm going to cut out. And then that way I can easily put my tiny little saw blade for right through the holes and then make the cutouts. Even though I have this awesome little saw blade that's used, designed for cutting pumpkins, I want to make sure I'm very careful not to break off because they're, they're pretty pretty tender, each little small piece that I want to keep. So I want to make sure I don't just go crazy and cut and then because I will break some of the pieces that will give the darker outlines that I want to make sure I keep in the pumpkin when it's finished. Now the majority of the work is done, I put the light back in, and that way I can do all the final finishing work. Um, the smaller details that you, it's hard to see with, without the light inside, such as the apron on the uh, jumpsuit I guess that he wears, the shading on the shoe, um, the eyeball, and little things like that, that that finish off the piece. And lastly, I have to cut the M into his hat. And there you have the final product.